Hi, everyone. How are you? Hey. hey. So it's very nice to be here. Uh, I'm very excited to be with all of you. It's nice to have people here from all the open source ecosystem, from Cohere, Hugging Face, uh, Olama, NVIDIA, Eleuther AI, uh, AMD, uh, QTI, Probable from the Scikit-Learn community, uh, Giscard. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really nice to be with all of you. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm Omar Sanseviero. I'm the DevRel lead for Gemma and open models at DeepMind. Uh, it's very exciting to be here to share with you, first, the first year anniversary of Gemma, uh, second, uh, the Gemma 3 release, and all the accomplishments that we have uh, done together as a community, uh, and really, what a community. The Gemma verse has just kept growing. Over the last year, we have been releasing many different models to enable the developer ecosystem and research ecosystem to keep pushing the boundaries of open science, of community, and of open machine learning. Since our first Gemma release uh, a year ago, we have released Shield Gemma, Data Gemma, Gemma Scope, Pali Gemma, and many others. And we're delighted to see this huge ecosystem growing around it. You already heard today about uh, Silayon, uh, AI Singapore, uh, Fine Tune Gemma for uh, 11 Southeast Asian languages. Uh, this project evolved into an LLM ecosystem integrated into AI voice assistance over th that is integrated in 38 uh, million uh, monthly active user experiences in Indonesia. Or another example is the Institute for Computer Science, AI, and Technology. It's a research organization in Bulgaria that did a uh, BGGPT. Uh, this is uh, LLM based in, uh, in Gemma, in Gemma 2, uh, for Bulgarian and English. And these are just two models out of the 60,000 models that we have seen on Hugging Face. The research labs, the communities from all over the world have used Gemma for their own use cases. They did new fine-tuning techniques, they built new models, uh, they push for embeddings, they push for interpretability tools, they push the limits of quantization from Korean conversational models uh, to foundations for image generation or audio understanding uh, to retrieval augmented generation for uh, Arabic, for example. We really see this huge ecosystem just growing. On Hugging Face, we have seen a consistent growth over the last year. Every week, there are more and more developers downloading Gemma and using them for their own use cases. Uh, here, for example, you can see the number of users uh, through time. And we're excited to work together with many partners at Google and externally to make Gemma as accessible and easy as possible to use by the ecosystem. We have collaborated closely with the Olama team, with VLLM, with Hugging Face, with Onslaught, and many other teams, making sure to make Gemma as easy as possible to be used by the ecosystem and well integrated into your favorite open source tools. With Olama, uh, you already heard about this today, you can easily download and run Gemma 3 with a single line of code. Olama run Gemma 3. That's it. And then you can leverage this wide ecosystem of integrations with open source tools. So for example, they have integrations with Lama Index, with uh, Langchain, and you can just leverage all of this. Similarly, with Hugging Face, Transformers, and TRL libraries, uh, all of these are open source tools, you can load and run your model in seconds. You can then easily fine tune Gemma in just a uh, few hours without that much data for your own domain, your own language, your own application. So we have been listening to the community for feedback. We went out there in the last months, consistently going out in the places where people are. So we went to Reddit, to local Lama, we went to developer events. We asked the people, what do you want? What do you want for the next versions of Gemma? Uh, we asked for feature ideas and what we could do better and what they liked about Gemma too. So we uh, kept that for the next versions. So we already went over this today. I know this is not something new for you. Uh, it's just a way to wrap up the day. Uh, the main feedback for Yamato was that the context of 8,000 uh, is just too short. So we did a small bump from 8,000 to 128K to make sure that it's very useful for very complex tasks. The community asked for even a smaller models than the 2B model that we had last year. So with this release, we shipped the 1B model, right? Uh, as well as quantized our train checkpoints that you can uh, use that you can quantize and uh, preserve all of the quality of the larger models. People ask for more modalities, so we, asked, uh, we added input for image and video as well. More languages, you already heard about this today, over 140 languages. Uh, one of the very common requests for Yama 2 was that it didn't support uh, system prompts. And we made sure to improve the instruct capability significantly. So now, uh, even if you don't have a system uh, instruction turn, in the first turn, you can pass the instructions, and it will work very well, because the instruct capabilities of the Gemma 3 model is extremely strong. The community really loved Gemma 2. 
So it's very exciting to share the growth of adoption, excitement, and liking that it has had. So I'm really excited to share this plot. Uh, it has an outdated LMCC score, as you already heard today. The LO score grew by one point tonight. Uh, so yeah, it's very exciting to see such a small model doing so well, so liked by the community. Uh, and just fresh from the open, this is from today in the morning, you can see the LMRN scores across different languages. And you can see that uh, Yama 3 really has a very strong performance across different languages. So it's a top French and Spanish speaking model, for example. It's tied with a couple of other models. Uh, so yeah, it's a, a way to really make it much more accessible to a much broader ecosystem. And I put here French and Spanish, but uh, really it's uh, many other languages as well. So let's welcome Gemma3 to the Gemmaverse. Let's welcome Gemma3 to the Gemma family. With all of these new exciting capabilities, I'm super excited about everything else that we plan to ship and to share with you in the next few months. And for all of you, we are really looking forward to see what you build on top of Gemma, which applications you do, which new models you train, and what you share with the community. So thanks uh, to all of you. Uh, I'm very excited to keep working with all of you. Thanks, everyone.